let's see about the diagnosis of pregnancy and in this video we will see about the diagnosis of pregnancy in the first trimester that is from first week to twelfth week now as we all know the diagnosis of early pregnancy is based on the hcg levels hcg stands for human chorionic gonadotrophin which is assessed in the laboratory this is the method for early diagnosis of pregnancy now coming to the topic proper the first trimester first let's see the subjective symptoms which the mother has during the first trimester they include first will be amenorrhea amenorrhea as a history mother gives is highly suggestive of pregnancy but it can also be caused because of many other conditions like anovulation or any illnesses or even emotional disturbances also sometimes there can be cyclical bleeding which can occur during the early pregnancy in the first trimester so this can be from uterine anomalies or even from a normal uterus before the fusion of the decidua vera and the decidua capsularis so this is about the amenorrhea next will be the morning sickness which is very commonly seen in pregnancy this is seen in early weeks of pregnancy where there is nausea and vomiting and this starts at around 4 to 6 weeks of pregnancy and it may continue till about 16 weeks and this nausea vomiting seen in the morning sickness is contributed to the presence of increased levels of human chorionic gonadotrophin so this can be minimized by eating small meals at frequent intervals and sometimes the vomiting can be severe enough to cause weight loss dehydration acidosis and hypokalemia this condition is called as hyperemesis gravidarum and treatment for this includes intravenous crystalloids and sometimes certain drugs are even used to correct the acid base imbalance So first you've seen about the amenorrhea next the morning sickness now the third subjective symptom in the first trimester would be salivation and changes in disposition there will be excess salivation which is an early symptom and in some cases it can be well remarked and changes in disposition include a change in temperament and the mother becomes more irritable and capricious and uh, she'll be craving for certain food so these are called as longings food longings also called pica of pregnancy
नेक्स्ट विल बी द इरिटेबिलिटी ऑफ ब्लैडर इन विच देर इज वेरी फ्रीक्वेंट मिक्चरेशन बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेशर विच इज एक्सर्टेड बाई द यूट्रिस ऑन द ब्लैडर एस इट कीप्स ऑन गोइंग but once it is become an abdominal organ from the pelvic organ the symptoms of frequent maturation comes down because there will be relieving of all the pressure which was exerted by the uterus on the bladder next will be fatigue the pregnant women complains of easy fatigability which is very very common in early pregnancy so these are all the subjective symptoms in the first trimester which indicate pregnancy those are amenorrhea morning sickness salivation and changes in disposition frequent micturition which is a bladder symptom and easy fatigability now coming to the objective symptoms in which first we'll see about the changes in breast so in the breast as we all know during pregnancy there is generalized enlargement of the breast the prominence of veins there will be increased pigmentation formation of primary and secondary areola and the nipple becomes more prominent and erectile and the secondary areola develops from 20th week onwards so but in multiparas the breast changes are not very much made out so they are not of much diagnostic value in multiparas next is bluish discoloration of vagina this is given a name called jacquemus sign or chadwick sign which is named after the scientists who discovered this or oziander sign all these are almost the same which means that there is blue discoloration of the vagina this is because of the growing blood vessels which get congested which gives a bluish tinge to the vagina this oseander sign is nothing but there is increased vaginal pulsations which can be noticed this is called as oseander sign next will be the uterine changes this increase in size of the uterus there's change in size shape and position of the uterus which is detected by bimanual examination the virgin uterus is spiriform and it is usually antiflexed but uh, during pregnancy the uterus initially becomes rounded 
globular and it becomes even more anti flexed. Then there will be other changes. which include the softening of the lower uterine segment and the cervix this is called as Higar sign The softening and compressibility of the isthmus or the lower uterine segment and this Higar sign is observed from 6th or 8th week to the 20th sorry 12th week of pregnancy. Next the changes in the cervix in nulliparous women the external loss is circular mucous membrane is smooth and intact and the orifice is closed whereas in Paris women the orifice is in the form of a transverse slit and it can admit the tip of the little finger and the cervix becomes soft by about 6 to 8 weeks of pregnancy also there is change in cervical mucus which when seen under microscope there is beaded pattern seen which is due to the effect of progesterone so these are all the symptoms which are seen during the first trimester the subjective symptoms include amenorrhea, morning sickness, salivation, changes in disposition, the bladder symptoms like frequent micturition and fatigue. Objective symptoms include the changes seen in the breast and uh, some signs in vagina called as Jack Wimmer sign, Chadwick sign and Oseander sign. You try and changes and other changes which include Hagar sign and changes in cervix as in Nulli Paris and Paris women also there is change in cervical mucus this is all about the diagnosis of pregnancy in the first trimester based on the symptoms thank you